Hello, and today I'm going to show you how to do this full wolf face paint makeup. What I'm going to use today are these products. I have two gel eyeliners, three brushes, two jumbo pencils, an eyebrow liquid, black eyeshadow, and a translucent powder. This particular brush you can find at the art store. Just make sure it has those frays at the end going to be perfect to make the fake hair and you'll see in a second. First I'm going to take the tiny brush and the brown gel liner and just use the tiny tiny brush to create upward strokes to create hair and bushy eyebrows. Then you want the tip of the brow to have the thickest hair and then on the arch of the brow to have a pointy high point to make it look like a frown. And you just keep working in those strokes with the point of the pencil. Now you're going to bring it down a little further in the front and I'm going to use your my finger to blend that out while the product is still nice and wet. You want it very bushy in the front which is why I'm blending out down into my nose contour. Next I'm going to take the white jumbo pencil and just start drawing lines. You want to focus the center of the nose and right where the brow furrows so it kind of looks like a bunny rabbit right now and then underneath your eyes this is just to trace out the areas you want to be the highlight of the face with white I'm gonna take a fluffy brush to blend that product into the skin so you don't see the harsh strokes just keep blending that out keep blending it out until it's nice and smooth or somewhat smooth. Next, you're going to take a fluffy brush again and dip it in a little bit of black eyeshadow and just enhance that deep, deep part of the eyebrow. You want to make sure everything is nice and blended out. Just keep fluffing it, fluffing it, fluffing it until you don't see any harsh edges. You want to bring it down further into the nose contour. You're going to also want to create the shadows around the nose. This will help you kind of even out before you draw the harsh lines. Next, we're going to take the black gel liner and trace underneath your eye. Just put one big line under your eye. Then you're going to create almost like eye bags underneath with the same exact product and the same brush. And so it doesn't look so harsh, I'm going to take that fluffy brush and just kind of blend it out while that product is still wet. Because once this dries, this is waterproof. I'm going to go in with the brown gel liner again and the tiny brush and just start creating strokes of thin hairs along the nose. Try not to get anything in the middle of the nose, just keep it to the side so it's nice and even. I like to add the white also to add a little more dimension than just one color hair. I'm also going to add little whiskers to the little indentations we made with the black liner and make that black line a little deeper with the pencil. And then blend it out while the product is still wet, as we've been doing. Next, I'm going to fill in the nose to create sort of a snout. I like to trace it here and kind of make it even on either side. Make sure the tip of the nose is the lowest, almost like a U shape, and the sides are the highest. And I just fill it in with that same exact product as well. I'm going to go in with the same product, same liner brush, and just fill in your lips with black. And you want to extend the side so it looks almost like you have a downturn smile. And then I'm going to take the black thick pencil to fill in what I've just traced to make it easier to fill in. And this is also waterproof once it dries. 
And if you can, try to make sure to draw the top line of your lips nice and straight so that it looks more animalistic. With the same liner brush and gel liner, you're going to create fangs. So just two V's on the side of your mouth and you're going to fill it in with the white jumbo pencil that you used earlier to create teeth. I'm going to go in with the NYX eyebrow gel. Just put it on any sort of plate or anything and douse the brush in the product and start creating flicking motions from your scalp into your face to create these natural hair like. And you see you want each one to kind of go on top of your cheeks and end right underneath your cheekbone so it's nice and even. I'm going to go in and just sort of re-blend out underneath my eye and make it a little darker using the black eyeshadow. I'll go in again with the white jumbo pencil and just create a little more dimension by adding a few bits of white color to the fake hair. And then one more thing before we go, and I forgot to put it in, you want to set everything with a translucent powder and a big fluffy brush just to make sure it doesn't budge after you've put all that hard work into it. And that's all there is to it, y'all. See ya!